Keith. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Keith, long time no see. It's great to see you nice again. Nice to see you. Great shirt. Cheers, buddy. Fantastic. Very good. And I must say, you're looking pretty pretty trim. It's you're a still, bit yeah. loud. No, it's good. Is there a volume control on it? There is indeed, buddy. <laughs> Just attached to me Rolex. <laughs> That's lovely. Very nice. So, Keith, long time no see. Uh, wh- where have you been? What have you been doing? The reasons for my temporary absence are easy. I have been working, buddy. I.e. moving semi-convincingly from side to side in front of a large number of fans. I.e. humans interested in boy zone as a pair as posed to large cooling devices hanging from ceilings with rotary blades similar to helicopters. So what brings you in this morning then? What's, what's the story? You have asked a pertinent leading question, buddy. I am here, not there. To explain a matter of fundamental importance to the future of the civilization as we know it. No, 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 not black holes, please, no. You're not talking about the Hadron, what is it called, the the collider, the particle collider? Correct! You're not. I will not be talking (laughs) about this matter, (laughs) i.e. subject, as opposed to (laughs) antimatter, the eternal conundrum of quantum mechanics, i.e. physics, as opposed to your carburetors knackered there. I will not be talking about this matter. So not about black holes or Hadron or anything like that. So what are you talking about? Well, I do understand it. Yeah. The Hadron particle collider... Oh, you understand the Hadron thing? Sorry. Well, the Hadron Particle Collider is not easy yeah. and would take the combined power of 500 Keith Duffies moving at close <laughs> to the speed of light while simultaneously miming father and son and organising a charity golf event. <laughs> so what are you going to be... Would you like to play, by the way? Oh, no, yeah, thanks. What are you going to be... What are you going to, going to explain for us? There have been lots of texts, buddies. Yeah. Asking me the same thing. What? How are you, buddy? Will you ask Keith to explain the American mortgage loan crisis? Oh, so you're going to do this? Because I'm looking at I'm looking at the Irish Times today. It says blame Brian and Bertie, not Fanny and Freddie. The American mortgage loan crisis, buddies, is easy. First, you will need to understand Fanny May and Freddie Mac. Okay. Fanny May and Freddie Mac are government-sponsored mortgage houses, as opposed to two quaint individuals you might find (laughs) drinking during the afternoon, recalling the good old days in their local in (laughs) Walkinstown. They are also... I can get a picture of them already. (laughs) They are also known as Fanny and Freddy. Okay. Would you like to know about A, Fanny, or B, Freddy? A, Fanny. Fanny. Oye, F-A-N-N, oye, was set up in 1930, oye, just after Wall Street, as opposed to half seven yesterday evening. Fanny was in a monopoly, so people said they'd try a little Freddy, oye, the competitor, (laughs) as opposed to singing a line out of the popular song from Mika. Fanny and Freddy had 5.4 trillion in stocks. I.e. shares, as opposed to a medieval torturing device used to punish aberrants in societies by throwing cabbages and tomatoes. A reduction in the stocks, buddies, due to falling house prices, led to a bear market. I.e. a seller's sorry, market. Yeah, you've lost, sorry, sorry Keith, you've kind of, I've As opposed to a market filled with large, rampaging, hairy animals who like eating salmon, buddies. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of gone at this stage. I'm, but recently... Sorry. What? Go on, go on, go on. Well, this recently meant that Fanny and Freddy were bailed out and the market was able to soar, i.e. go up, as opposed to become extremely painful after putting your finger on the hot plate of the electric cooker. Uh, how do you spell Fanny? F-A-N-N-O-E! O-E!